no way. Heat vision damage, kryptonite to the heart, and plenty of other villainous face-offs. Today, we're breaking down and reacting to all of these super electrifying medical scenes and fierce injuries from the highly popular video game, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Let's dive right in. Some Massive laceration to the under part of your jaw. Could it go through the jawbone, through the mandible? If there's enough force, it could snap through. I've seen people who've had blunt trauma have the mandible snapped in half. So yes, possible to break in, especially with a super strong, sharp blade, so to speak. There are major blood vessels to this area. Could it get deep enough to get into the airway? Potentially. Did he just slice into the guy's rectum, into his butthole? What type of move was that? I don't think that person's going to the bathroom anytime soon. Could that actually kill you? No. Could it cause bleeding and a lot of pain? Yes. If you start ripping into the lower part of your colon, you're gonna have poop. You're gonna potentially have infection there, especially with wounds that are open. A little bit opposite direction right there at the knee. Let's just say that the leg is not supposed to be bent in such a direction. It can cause fractures. They can cause injury to the major vessels back there, which is why we'd get a CT angiogram, which is basically a CT scan that injects dye so we can see what the blood vessels look like. Hitting asphalt concrete to where it's actually shattering underneath you, your body's going to be shattering too. Obviously not for these individuals because of their superpowers, but for us mere mortals, if you end up having that much trauma, you're gonna get a full body scan. You're gonna get CT scans galore, head to toe, because even though you may not feel the pain right away, your adrenaline's kicking in, we need to check. Clearly, Superman's face is a little jacked up at the moment. He's maybe possessed or something's going on. We see people who get veins like this. Yes, sometimes people have simple as rosacea on the face, the spider veins. Sometimes when people end up getting really bad liver disease, you get these type of veins on their abdomen. It's actually called caput medusa. Uh, really? Really? If you're hitting someone's face, you're just causing a, a lot of head trauma. You could actually potentially kill somebody. You gotta be careful. You hit somebody the wrong way, they can bleed into their brain and they can die. And then same if you're hitting somebody's airway like this, you're crushing their airway. And if it's so bad, so much swelling that they can't breathe, then they're gonna potentially die as well. Oh my gosh. Just being bashed into the ground. Besides fractures, you worry about soft tissue injury, right? So you're gonna bruise a lot. A lot of bruising could actually cause you to lose significant amount of blood. And then the other component is rhabdomyolysis. And the other thing we worry about is elevated potassium levels because you're now busting open the cells. Oh! Hyperextension of the elbow can cause fracture dislocation. We see sometimes elbow fractures where you bust off the olecranon. If that occurs, you potentially will need to have it pinned by an orthopedic surgeon. Oh, <laughs> Superman's got the bad side of him. Oh. Oh, we got kryptonite. That's kryptonite, Superman. Stabbing right into somebody's sternum, right into the chest. It's a big bone, it's flat. We actually sometimes can use it as an area to put an IV in. You can do an interosseous IV through the sternum. A lot of times surgeons will actually cut the sternum for doing open heart surgery. That's how they get in. And then they have to actually wire it shut using almost like chicken wire. I mean, see, besides having the kryptonite in the body, see there you got blood, wow. It's actually stabbed right in probably to his heart. I'm assuming Superman's heart is in a similar position as a normal human. This game is intense, it's fast, action-packed. Sometimes when you wanna get into your gaming mode, you want the extra edge. Check out Level Up. It's a supplement that I made with my company Life Happens. Uh-oh. Heat injuries in the emergency department, burn injuries, we see them a lot. Every ER can handle it, depending on the level, right? One, two, three, or four. Most common is one and two. Three happens every now and then. Four is quite rare. If you do have a deep second degree or a third degree burn or fourth, you need to be at a burn center because the likelihood that you need a skin graft is quite high. 
When the skin is charred in like a black color like that, you worry about the fact that it's just dead, just gone. Obviously, this is not rocket science. Not exactly rocket science. You gotta get that off. You actually have to remove that tissue and you actually have to cut stuff off to get the healthy tissue. And sometimes it's all the way down to like the fat layer, to the muscle. Ugh. You think you're a team now? Your herd animals. So a lot of bruising, blood to the face, but teeth are intact. It looks pretty good, actually. Look at those nice pearly whites. Batman's purple eyes. We see people who come to the emergency department with different color eyes, but most of the time it's contacts. But there are the few rare people in the world that potentially have purple eyes. Do you guys know anybody with purple eyes? Let me know in the comments. Stick around for a big <laughs> Injury right to the groin. My groin! Right into the perineum. The spot between the genitals and the butthole. Your pelvic floor muscles, okay, very important. There's a lot of nerve endings there, and it could hurt a lot. Nice DQ sequence. Close quarters and green. I like how she didn't get injured by her own blast. We do see blast injuries that come through the emergency department, usually in the United States around 4th of July, where people might hold on to these explosive devices a little bit too long to where there's a lot of hand injuries. There's ocular injuries or eye injuries. Please be careful if you're ever handling these type of devices. Make sure you're a professional or you're having a professional do it. No way! Harley Quinn taking out Batman, what? A little splash of blood to the left cheek, pretty good. Now, single bullet to the head, yes, it could kill somebody pretty quickly. Or if it's like off-centered, it actually might not. But then you deal with the repercussions of brain swelling and bleeding. But if somebody survives it, there are individuals out there that can live with one hemisphere of the brain. Whoa! Stab wound right to the head. I've had people come to the emergency department where people have attempted to use knives to stab each other and there's a lot of lacerations, but no puncture through. Cause it's really hard to take a small knife to puncture through cause it, it just needs a lot of force to be able to do that. Usually it's bigger objects that cause bigger problems. Oh man! Puncture wound to the left side of the neck. What's over there? You got it. You got your jugular vein and your carotid artery. You got your airway right in the middle. You got your esophagus. You got all your muscles there. Your sternocleidal mastoid, the platysmus, the scalenes. Batman. The bleeding seems to be stabilized. If you can get out of this situation, stabilize the object, get to the hospital. Then at the hospital, they're able to pull it out immediately or pretty quickly with the surgeons there. So they can then immediately attend to the wound and the injury. Wow. Batman looks pretty jacked. And this was really cool. I'm a fan of Suicide Squad and I'm a fan of the Justice League. So really cool to see this video game in action. A lot of injuries, a lot of trauma, and I even like the regular dialogue that was going on that almost looked like a movie. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And if you guys want me to do more of this, please let me know in the comments. Do me a favor, make sure you subscribe, uh, click that like button, and turn on your bell notifications. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.